friends, how are you? Welcome to Tuesday Tips. Tuesday Tips are where we come together and talk practical, easy, accessible tools that help your well-being, body, mind, and spirit. So I was connecting with my friend Leslie Jordan of Leslie Jordan Wellness, and we were talking about stress. And um, I did a little research before we talked because I had gotten this great magazine from Scientific uh, American called The Science of Stress. And I hadn't pulled it out yet. I've had it for like a, maybe a year or so. And I pulled it open and there was a bit of research in there that I just really was excited to share with her. And now I'm excited to share it with you. So first of all, I just want you to know that stress, uh, as we know it, is often a hidden uh, cause of lots of problems, lots of health issues, lots of mental health issues. And the challenge that I think in Western culture that we have around stress is that we kind of ignore it or bypass it and just kind of get our nose to the grindstone and we just keep going until we are done till we're depleted, till we're exhausted. Um, and I would like to invite you to change this script a little bit. And because stress is so sneaky and because it's so easy to ignore, and I think the reason for that is because we um, have gotten used to feeling stress. We think that what we're feeling in our body is normal. But the fact of the matter is, is Invariably, whenever I have a Soma Yoga client or whenever I teach a Soma Yoga class, about 15 minutes into the class, the entire class almost across the board or the client starts yawning. And that's because when you finally calm your nervous system, what really comes forward often is exhaustion. So this bit of research that I want to bring forward, I think is so fascinating because <clears throat> it's 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 a perfect example of how stress is sneaky. So the researcher's name is Andrew Huberman. <clears throat> and the first thing that he brought forward that I thought was so fascinating and did not know is that <clears throat> your eyes are not connected to your brain. Your eyes are actually part of your brain. When we are in utero, the eyes are actually uh, attached to the forebrain and then come forward. So with that in mind, that kind of mind-bending knowledge, think about the concept that everything you see, everything that you look at is being processed, not just like outside of you and coming in, it's of you. So then the next bit of information that I thought was interesting was particularly around the idea of doom scrolling and headline scrolling, you know, when you're looking at headlines on your phone. <clears throat> and so what he was studying is the, the relationship of stress to vision. And what, what he found, what his team found, is that when you see a stressor, let's just talk about it on your phone. When you see a stressor and you're, you're scrolling headlines, your pupils dilate, and there's a change in the position of the lens of your eye. So essentially what happens is, is that your field of vision narrows, and what you're looking at comes into sharp relief, and everything around it kind of defocuses. That response activates your sympathetic nervous system or your fight or flight or freeze. So, so think on that how often we just mindlessly are scrolling news headlines and they're often just terrible <laughs> and without us even knowing it you could be sitting in repose and completely relaxed <clears throat> but you hit you hit a a headline and your eyes are re reading that headline and your whole sympathetic nervous system comes online based on the headline while you're just lounging on the couch breath shortens, you know, everything starts to happen. 
So I think that that's a really an interesting heart rate rises. You know, that's just, I think it's just really interesting that often you, you think you're relaxing when you're scrolling the news, but really what you're doing is, is you're, tri- you're triggering your sympathetic nervous system. It's online. So conversely, what I thought was interesting about his research was the research in terms of how to, how to counteract that. And, and in terms of your eyes, to how to easily counteract that is to set the phone down and to look up. And looking up and not concentrating on any one thing, looking at a horizon or a vista or even just, you know, looking out your window, that can help bring on your parasympathetic nervous system or your rest and digest. And he said, coupled with that, looking up and around, coupled with a few sighing breaths that you can turn it, turn the train around and bring yourself back to calm. That's as, that's quick. That's how quick you can turn it back around. So there were two quotes out of this article that I wanted to share with you. A psychological sigh two or three times is the fastest way we are aware of to bring the level of autonomic arousal or stress back down to a baseline. (sighs) Yeah. Then they said, vision and breathing are essential as levers or entry points to the autonomic arousal because they're available for conscious control at any point. So you are well in control of your nervous system simply by what you paying attention to what you look at and paying attention to how you're breathing. And that to me is the biggest takeaway from this article is, is to know that when you are doom scrolling and you're looking at those headlines that your sympathetic nervous system is on. And so take breaks, set your phone down and look up and around and give yourself a few sighing breaths to help and dot them throughout your day. Maybe it's once an hour, you know, maybe it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner and bedtime, but whatever it is, think about your phone use and think about that, how it stimulates your nervous system and maybe stay away from bedtimes. Maybe that's not when you want to be looking at the news. And maybe you don't want to start your day by looking at the news as so many of us do, because immediately you're starting out your day in a fight, flight, or freeze response. So I think this is super fascinating research. I'm going to put the information about this article uh, below and would love to hear your comments and would love to hear what you think about it. Have a great day and thank you for joining me for Tuesday Tips. Talk to you soon.